<laughs> well, what do the stars have planned for you in 2020? Whether you want to know what's going to happen in your love life, your career, or life in general, <laughs> you've come to the right place. Susan Miller, founder of AstrologyZone.com, is here with a preview of the year ahead. Welcome. It's a gr Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's a great year. Good. There's lots going on, and it will be a prosperous year. That's good you to know. know. They keep saying recession. No, I don't see it. No, like it's going to be good. Well, first of all, let's start with Aries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aries has a fabulous career year coming up. They should go for the gold, and they should really focus on that. You're a Taurus. I'm a Taurus, so I'm interested in the You Taurus, have yeah. an interesting one. It's the ninth house is lit up. Foreign travel, foreign oh. people, foreign relationships, an awe-inspiring trip. Also, hmm. publishing and broadcasting is in that house. You're going places. <laughs> oh, well, Cindy, <laughs> you may be leaving me in no. 2020. Or you, she could write a book, break. maybe for young women who mm -hmm. want to get that into the wonderful. field. Yeah. Yeah. Gemini, it's money, 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 but it's chunks of money. It's not money in their paycheck. It's more like a bonus, commission, uh, inheritance, prize winning, something like that, where it comes in a chunk. Okay. And that will give them options. That's a nice thing. That yeah. is nice. Your cancer. Yes. Everybody wants a cancer mother. Oh, oh thank you. That's lovely. They're that's so nice loving. Yeah, thank they you. read and to their children everything. Anyway, your husband is <laughs> is lit up in your chart. Okay. There's a, a bonding that's really beautiful. A lot of cancers will get married this year, get engaged. Okay. And But if they say, no, I don't want to get married, and I already am married, well, they do well with their husband, but you can use it for a new agent, a new publicist, that kind of thing, someone to represent present you anything one-on-one. -on -one. Can okay. I just say she has the best husband ever? Oh, oh. she is so nice. <laughs> You're so great. So I'm glad you said something about oh, yeah. that. He's all over <laughs> your charts. Um, also, um, Leo. Leo can lose that last five pounds. They can oh. get lean, fit, and strong. Eat right, feel like a million dollars. They'll also have a lot of new assignments coming in, so it'll be nice to have that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to work out and then just feel good. Uh, Virgo hit the jackpot. They have the best romantic aspects they've ever seen. Really? Mm. But you know, Virgo likes to help everyone and stay late at the office. We have to get them out, push them away from the computer. Nothing happens if you stay home. Gotcha. <laughs> right. And also creativity blossoms. If they're married, they go closer. And this is a great year to have a baby. Oh. Mm. Um, Libra's so lucky. They have real estate aspects. Mm. And my daughter once said, astrology doesn't work in New York, in Manhattan. <laughs> I said, yes, it does. Uh -huh. And she got the dream apartment right out of college. So mm. with her two girlfriends. Wow. And it was beautiful. Um, then you have Scorpio. Everything's about communication. If you have a book in you, Scorpio, now's the time to get serious, write it, or a screenplay, or a podcast series, or a new mm. app. Mm -hmm. Something with communication. Develop your skills because that's where the golden nuggets lie. Sagittarius gets a raise. They had a wonderful year last year. The only thing they didn't like was the money. They said, I'm working so hard, and even mm. though other people think I make a good salary, I deserve more because I'm putting so much into it. Capricorn is the celestial favorite. They're having their emerald year. Every 12 years, you get your emerald year, and everything comes to you. Luck, happiness, money, love. Wonderful year for love. So Capricorns and the Virgos have the best luck. Uh, Aquarius has a year where they have to get ready for their big year, 2021. It's a year to decide what stays, what goes. And for Pisces, it's so many new friendships and maybe working on a charity and f maybe even finding love as they volunteer. Join a club, Pisces. It's so good. All these are so positive. I know. Yes, I love it. 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 I Well, I'm known to be the happy astrologer. I really am yeah. happy. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good to know, you know, what's coming up. It's right. like going on an airplane, avoiding the, the storms, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do have some retrogrades this year. At the end of the year, Mars would go retrograde from September 9th to November 13th. And you don't want to launch what? a new product then. Anything where you want to be the best and compete really well, you don't.
don't want to launch things then. You want to do it in the summer or early in the year is mm -hmm. one of my favorite parts of the year. Mm -hmm. And so your baby's coming in February. Yeah. You're going to have an Aquarius. Yes. And you'll I know. want to know if it's a boy or a girl. That's I know. That's what I want to know. know, too. We will have to Well, wait. no, when I was pregnant with my two daughters, I didn't want to know. Yeah, no. doesn't, she doesn't either. I, I just want to know. I know. Well, it's going to be a surprise. No, and, 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 and he's... He or she is going to be just adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Susan <laughs> going to be teaching you. you all the computer stuff. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> we appreciate it. And we're going to post all of Susan's horoscopes for 2020 on our website, cbsnewyork.com.